Uh, hi everyone, welcome to you all in my another video. And today we are we have a very special guest. She is uh, Anmaria from uh, um, Kerala. She completed her uh, form D from India, and she also completed for that the CAPS exam. And right now she is going to start basically that uh, internship in Australia. She is living one of the city in Australia. So I request her to give her you know a little bit inside because the many Indian girls they always. Ask me one question that a girl can do this exam, girl can pass this exam, can I go to Australia or not? There's a lot of, basically in India, the girls think that, you know, uh, we will be like, uh, this is not the girls, I mean, it's like a society, hour, you know, they, they, many things they, they think that they cannot do, you know. So this is, um, if you want to come to Australia or Canada or UK, US, wherever you want to go, you can do, you are the equivalent to a man, but like men, men can do, you also can do. So you are a pharmacist, you are not like a laborer or something, you are afraid, I cannot do the job. So that's why uh, we are here. So we'll, uh, she will share her experience, so how she um, achieved all those uh, milestones. So uh, hi, Maria, how are you? Hi, sir, greetings for the day. Yeah, I'm uh, yeah. fine. Have yeah, can you please give us uh, your little bit uh, short introduction about yourself and your previous experiences? Yeah, I will. Um, first of all, my name is Anne Maria. I'm from India. But for the last two months, I'm residing in Australia. And I've been waiting for an internship. Uh, probably I will start uh, next month, November. So uh, I was born and brought up in Kerala, a godson country. Uh, my schooling was also there. After completing plus two, I have joined for this post-graduation, Doctor of Pharmacy. And I've completed my post-graduation from Nasrath College of Pharmacy. Allied to Health Science, Kerala University of Health and Science. And after that, um, I done my one year internship as a clinical pharmacist intern in Bilavo Church Medical College. To be frank, uh, I gained a lot more knowledge uh, during my internship. I am blessed to have excellent training and clinical exposure uh, under the guidance of about 30 plus clinical pharmacists over there. My teachers was also quite smart to provide case presentations, case seminars, and I'm thankful to all those people. And now I'm here in Australia. So I am always happy to share my journey, how become how to become a registered pharmacist. Uh, yeah. And after my uh, PharmD, I have joined as a safety trainee associate in IQVIA for one year. Yeah, that's all about myself. So yeah. this is very good, you know, she, 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 because many of the Indian pharmacists Basically, family students they complain about you know an internship. We are going to hospital. There is no one guide us, and uh, we are not doing nothing. We are just going to the ward. We are just writing one or two cases. We are coming back. So it's up to you. And in which yeah. college, which hospital you are, you know. So this is uh, not just yeah. So she thinks she has no. a very excellent team there. Yeah, not only all not only depends on the college or the staff, but we should motivate ourselves. No one yes. is there to. We get a pan Maria, do that, do this. But we should have a wish, we should refer, we should study, we should have a desire to learn. That's also matters. So yes, yeah. and this is a very important thing. This is your desire to learn or not. You just want to take your degree. I mean, many of the Indian basically that they are doing farm day to just to write just the doctor. I, I know many people, but this is not your aim to came in the, in, the, in this profession. So farm day is a very good course, I can say. It is a lot, lot of opportunities. So, Anmaria, yeah. uh, can you give us a little bit, uh, uh, your, what was your experience as a working as a ph pharmacovigilance in uh, IQVIA? And, uh, yeah, in IQVIA, uh, I was working with pharmacovigilance of Moderna COVID vaccine. It was a great experience because I got a more opportunity to deal with uh, staff from other countries. Uh, so I got understanding about the COVID vaccine side effect, a lot more knowledge about the COVID vaccine. So can I answer my colleagues, my friends, my relatives, what is actually the thing? So it's a good thing for the PharmD graduates recently passed out from India. They can join or for the, this preparation times, they can join any of this IQA company. So they will get a good experience from the research if you have some research test you can join this kind of companies so why you not join like in pharmacovigilance country because a lot of uh, people from india they are working in pharmacovigilance right now especially this pharmd or m farm guys and they want always ask me sir uh, can we directly can we uh, immigrate to australia as a pharmacovigilance expert you know so do you have any mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh 
Have, have you tried yeah. any job for pharmacovigilance before writing care no. or no? I haven't tried for any pharmacovigilance jobs. First, I have to be a registered pharmacist here. After yes. that, I will try. Yes. Basically, you know, if you are in India, you have experience maybe three year, five year, ten year. So the mm -hmm. main problem in pharmacovigilance, the company do not want to sponsor the visa. You know, so to get the visa, you need to write the CAPS exam and to become a pharmacist in Australia. Then, if you want again to uh, work in pharmacovigilance easily, you can because there is a need a license. You must be yes. registered pharmacist or medical doctor or nurse, whatever you know. That the APRA registration in Australia is mandatory to work in most of the in, in pharmacovigilance. Uh, that's yes. why you know. Yeah, so you need to write the caps. So, Anmaria, can you please uh, about uh, how you know about the caps exam? Yeah, actually, uh, I have been searching for what are the exams uh, conducting abroad. I have been yeah. searching from here onwards because I have a strong desire to uh, get abroad and uh, get a job over there. So I started searching, Googling or asking my friends since my fourth year. Uh, so after completing my sixth year of internship, uh, I joined this company and during my work hours, during my working period, I start preparation for this CAPS examination. So uh, if I talk about the CAPS examination, uh, so many of my friends have told that it's quite uh, difficult, but mm -hmm. I can say not that much difficult, but it's not quite easy. If you are ready to work hard, if you have a desire, you can pass the itself because uh, the living evidence is in front of you you can pass the exam. And I studied myself. I didn't uh, attend any coaching centers. Uh, so if you have a desire, if you have that time to work hard, you will gain the success. So, you know, Anmaria, basically, you know, she has a desire to work in abroad. She should start searching on Google here and there. So this is also up to you, what you want to, where you want to go, you know. So this is uh, not like, you know, someone has to go, go do this. Do this. this is on your own desire. So she start like fourth year, fifth year, complete farm day. Then she start working, and simultaneously she prepare herself for CAPS exam. So she does not attend any coaching, and she passed the exam. And today she are in Australia. This is a yeah. great example for you, especially the girls. If you uh, want to achieve something, you want to go to abroad, you can. So no one can stop you. You know, this is uh, apart from you. You know, if you are think oh the CAPS exam is really very tough, I cannot pass. And so this is. Up to you, basically. Yes, Anmaria? Yes, exactly. So what you want to say to, to, to these girls, you know, they always say this is a very tough exam. We cannot do. And no, it's not like that. It's tough, but it's easier. If yeah. you are ready to study, it's easier. If you simply sit and, okay, I can pass the exam. You can wish, you can dream. It's not that matters. You have to work. You have to study. You have to move a step forward. Then you can obviously pass the exam. You can absolutely do that. So many uh, girls say even passing that Canada exam, PBC. So CAPS exam, I can say in my personal experience, we we, uh, we are here and academically, we provide the coaching for CAPS for three months. So in three months, you 100%, you can pass whatever we give the resources. So I can say this is very easier exam as compared to PBC. A lot of Indian girls, I mean, uh, the boys, they are passing this PBC. PBC have a 60% passing mark and CAPS have just 50%. So you cannot say that. So I can say CAPS is like a mediocre exam. Anyone can pass if you have desire. If you have to study a little bit, at least three to four hours per day, you can pass easily. You know, so this, this is not like impossible something, you know, kind of uh, exam. Yes. So Anmaria, once you uh, pass this exam, then how you find this internship? What will uh, be the, the routes? to say about the whole, whole process that it's take about one year uh, to appear for this um, internship because first thing uh, you have to do an eligibility check that is the first criteria is you should either have a pharmacy for your four year pharmacy degree either b farm or m farm or farm d so uh, you can apply for this cap system first thing is eligibility check that will cost you about 80,000 or 70,000. Now it's been reduced to 70,000 Indian rupees for this eligibility check. Yeah, this is like so, 1310 AUD right now. Yeah. So eligibility check, you have to go to the Australian Pharmacy Council website and you have to make your account as a, as a student or as a candidate. Then all the other steps you have to complete and you have to pay 1310 uh, is about 70,000 as she's saying, yeah. 
Uh, yeah, each and every step is uh, given in this Australian Pharmacy Council website. They yeah. will navigate. They will help you navigate the process. Yeah. So after every, this, even if you have yeah. any problem, you can write the exam immediately within one day or two days. They replied. You know, they are very fast. I can say. They are very fast. Uh, for this eligibility check, it will take eight weeks. I think after that, uh, you will get the letter. So you can take that some date. You can book that some date. There are so many centers in India, like Hyderabad, Chennai, New Delhi. So you can appear for the exam. So uh, one year in one year there is three exam dates. Uh, the coming date is on November, November, March, and July. So uh, for one exam there is three dates. You can opt for any of the date. So uh, that is uh, what about the CAPS examination. So for the CAPS examination, you have to pay uh, $2,190. That is about uh, 1 lakh uh, 15,000. Now it is 1 lakh 15,000. So basically all yeah. together we can say 13104 is school assessment and 2190 you have to pay for, pay for school. I mean the CAPS exam fee. So it's 3,500 total you need to pay to the Australian Pharmacy Council. Yeah. That is uh, all about the CAPS examination and about the materials and the... And what about the exam? How many questions? And if you can uh, brief, yeah. Yeah, the, for exam, there is uh, two parts, paper one and paper two. And each paper contain different subjects. So you have to, the first thing is you have to pass uh, each paper with about at least 50 percentage. So you have to gain 50 percentage of the marks for chemistry as well as 50 percentage for uh, pharmaceutics like that or each subjects. So there are totally two papers and the first paper contain uh, pharmacology and physiology and as well as chemistry. So we have to pass uh, for each subject and the second paper contain uh, therapeutics. Uh, therapeutics and um, uh, uh, pharmaceutics. Uh, yeah, yeah, second paper the pharmaceutics and therapeutics first paper is chemistry and pharmacology so yes. you have to pass two papers so basically you have to pass like 50 percent each component not the for each exam so for example you have pharmacology you know and then chemistry and uh, pharmaceutics so each component you have to must score 50 percent yeah for chemistry if the question contain 10 questions from chemistry you have at least passed five questions yeah. if it is 30 you have to pass 15 questions. There is not set a uh, number that is came with, uh, 10 questions from chemistry or 30 questions from chemistry. It depends. It uh, can uh, change. So yes, basically, right, right now, there is seven centers in India. And there is a in yearly uh, three exams, mostly in March, then July, in November. So you can sit any of these exam and you can work. once you pass the exam, then you have to go for internship. Then you need a visa. So, yeah. and, uh, and Maria, uh, uh, I mean, in your experience, uh, what kind of, uh, I mean, the visa or other things have you uh, uh, attended? Yeah, after this uh, passing of this CAP set sum, uh, the next procedure is applying for a sponsorship. So yeah, you have now, to... I think we forget English also requirement here. Yeah, uh, English yeah. requirement. So there you can either opt for IELTS or PT. I opted for PT. It's a computer-based exam. It's quite easy. So yeah. you have to... Or 65 each in each subject. For IELTS, you have to score seven or band seven. Yeah. So that is so, a fourth is school assessment, then CAPS exam, then English test you need to pass. You can go for IELTS or PT, but PT is uh, easier as compared to IELTS. And you need at least a score 65 in individual or seven uh, band in, in, in individual in IELTS. Yeah, after that, uh, you can apply for the provisional registration. Yes, uh, so online you can do that. Yeah, online you can do that. Uh, it's yeah. only cost 20, nearly 20,000. Yeah. And it's a easier process. You have to si get signed some papers, uh, some documents you have to upload, your skill assessment letter, your IL score, your registration, academic details, that's all needed. And you will get the provisional registration. Yeah. And before that you just sit and you just start mailing the pharmacies about the job vacancies yes so you know, that once you complete all this process now you need to find a job basically or you can you know uh, many of you maybe you are coming maybe on a study visa or some of you maybe are coming with like a you know dependent visa for example your husband or your wife she's coming on a studying or maybe she is working here so is uh, uh, each person have their own journey so if you do not yeah. have anyone in Australia, 
then you need to be in Australia. You need to find a sponsor uh, for your visa. For example, 407 or uh, 482494. But there are the two other visa does not need any sponsorship. This is a PR visa, I can say. This is a 190 and um, 491. This two visa does not need any sponsorship. But this visa... Uh, do you need to meet some conditions based on the state to state? For example, uh, Northern Territory, they might be, do not ask any experience, but the other state might be asked you, you must have at least two year experience or three year experience, you know. So if you are a fresher, Mm, it might be a little bit diff uh, difficult for you, but if you have experience like three years or more years, then uh, you can directly, you can apply for, for your visa. So my advice, if you are in not have any experience, so once you complete your uh, degree B form or farm D or M form, whatever, you just start working on any retail pharmacy because you know in Australia 90% jobs in retail pharmacy or community pharmacy in Australia. So if you have some experience and you can show that experience, then you can file your visa. Yeah, you can also do it as a part time. Like my friends did. If you are working in IQA or any other company, you can do it as a part time basis. Even yes. it. This is uh, Anmaria. Very good questions here. Yes, here like. like in Australia, they recognize at least 20 hours weekly. So, you know, the, this can be considered like a part-time. You can work in any pharmacy. In India, basically, my, my, they are not paying you money, you know, because, you know, in, in retail pharmacy. Mm -hmm. But you, your aim to become a pharmacist in Australia. So, don't forget about the money, but you just for the experience uh, letter and you need to work there. So, you can work like as a pharmacist and associate or clinical type, wherever you are working. And simultaneously, you also can work as a part-time as a clinical pharmacist or a hospital pharmacist, or we can say it's like a retail pharmacist. Retail pharmacist also matters here. It has value in Australia. Yes. So on, on Australia, you know, Anmaria is going to be a pharmacist and someone want to endorse their documents. In every day in chemist warehouse for five o'clock, you know, every day there will be a long queue. People have to be, you know, certified some document. Mm -hmm. So in, in India, mostly the government officers like someone like DM, SDM office, you have to go to certify the document. But here, pharmacists and, have that much authority. Yeah, we are in gazetted rank when we come yes. back to India. Yes, you will feel basically proud at that, that time. Oh, yes, I'm a pharmacist. But in India, it's not that much. You know, many people are complaining. There's no respect and there's no salary. You know? But in Australia, you have a certain rank as a pharmacist. Yeah, yes. So, Anmaria, if you want to say something, uh, do the want to come yeah. to Australia at the end? Yeah, if someone is trying to become a registered pharmacist over here, the first thing you have to do is just close your ears against the negative vibes. Yes. And if have a strong desire you must should or you must come or you must uh, forward a step at least to your god then the god almighty will send the help so you don't have to sit here and someone will come and motivate don't expect that you should have to move yourself and start studying if you just start studying and see whether it goes easily or you can study individually. If it does not work, you can go for any coaching centers like academically. There are a lot of coaching centers in India as well as online websites are available from Australia also. So you can go for that at reasonable uh, prices. So yes, if you I mean, you know, if you want, you can achieve, you know, very simple. And Maria want to say, so don't listen. People will always complain, you know, you cannot do, there will be no jobs. Some may say that you cannot pass the exams, you know. So this is like negative thing. So forget about negative things. Focus on your aim. You can do. I mean, my Maria can do. You also can do. Because any Indian pharmacist, I can say, if anyone uh, passed the B form or M form or farm D from India, because Indian syllabus is very, very, you know, lengthy syllabus as compared to Australia. I'm a lecturer here in Uni Sydney, so I, I compared the syllabus. Indian syllabus is, is too much we are studying there. For example, pharmaceutical chemistry and uh, pharmacognosy we are studying. I, I, I remember in my pharmacy school, I, I it's like five semesters I studied. So a lot of things they are teaching too much there. Here is not that much in Australian syllabus. 
so you can pass easily i can say if you study 3 4 hour like 4 5 month definitely i mean there is no need for coaching if you want you are we are here to help you but you also can do without coaching also this is not uh, necessary for you if you want to yeah if you are ready to do it by yourself uh, see nowadays days have changed and there are so many social media platforms are available in facebook and whatsapp and in telegram also there are so many groups of this groups, caps yes. So you can get a companion from there and you can uh, start your studies. If you yeah, are not I ready... I also to... make one blog on this. Which books you can uh, refer and what are the chapters also we give in that, you know, in our academically website blog, you can go and see there. So this is like free of cost, you can do. Yes, sir, Maria, thank you so much. This is, I think, is a long conversation. Yeah, thank, thank you, sir. Bye. Thank you.